Okay, we're gonna continue on with some more uh, sketching action. We're gonna uh, uh, continue actually with the ballpoint pen because I did that. I hadn't done a lot of uh, sketches with the ballpoint pen, so I decided to just go ahead and <clears throat> keep along that path and just start uh, uh, sketching with it because uh, I, I yeah, it's something that I do use quite quite often. It's just that uh, lately I just really haven't. Uh, put some focus, time, and effort uh, using it. So, so that's what we're going to do. So to start off, uh, we're going to do a a traditional you know, three quarter view. Something you'd seen previously. You'd see me draw these three quarter views with uh, a sharpie marker. <clears throat> I'm doing anything different except just drawing it uh, with a, a ballpoint pen. What's nice about the <clears throat> ballpoints is, again, you can sketch pretty light and not have to worry about committing your lines until you are pretty confident with it before you start to apply pressure. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm just sort of lightly uh, laying down the lines and uh, treating it kind of like a, a, a pencil. So, <clears throat> all right, so we've got this, and I'm going to just add uh, some shape uh, for a headlamp here. I'm going to just add a section to this. So as I as I go through and, and make a run through the sketch, All right. So we got this. I'll draw the ground plane. <clears throat> as you've seen this in several of my drawings here. And then here's going to be the interesting thing. <clears throat> as I as I start to work on, on the grill shape, so let's just talk about this here. So I, I, I'm looking at a grill shape. <clears throat> I'm just adding this chamfer. As I add this chamfer, let me bring my center line section to the correct location here. This is, this is off. This is not right, so this has got to be uh, here. So as I got my, my, my chamfer here, I'm going to bring my grill up a little bit more.
what you then need to focus on is, well, I've done this. <clears throat> So that means that as I have this angle here, or this chamfer, I don't, I don't see a chamfer, you just got this sort of a, a Superman type symbol here, shape. Well, when you, put, when you put a shape through here, that means that the surfaces that are transitioning to it have to somewhat conform to this particular shape. Okay. <clears throat> and that's sometimes hard to, for your brain to kind of reconcile with, right? So let's just let's just do that. So this is now going to join here. Uh, not to mention that this is also a transition in its own right. Okay, and then this is going to also join. So essentially, I got this this chamfer that's running into where the headlamp area is. All of this has to be somewhat rationalized as far as the surface is concerned, and and this is really the the uh, the power of the designer for them to uh, accurately sketch it, at least sketch it to the point that when the designer or when the modeler gets a hold of it, that the modeler is not confused with what you're doing and what you're trying to do. <clears throat> Which means that you gotta know what these shapes are doing pretty well in order to describe to the modeler who's going to create all this stuff in CAD to be able to make this shape and make it accurately. So as you see, I, I'm just going section by section, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, this cold is, is probably getting on my nerve just as much as it's getting on your nerve when I keep coughing like this. but. Okay, so this is your, your headlamp. You got a somewhat of a, a surface transition here. And then let's just do this. Got some sort of a shape that this headlamp is, is doing. Okay. Okay, all the while now now that we've got that, we've got this shape here. <coughs> I can add a little bit more depth to this. And every time you, you put in a section, you're at least describing the shape. You're describing the form. <clears throat> now, uh, a fog lamp. Now, one thing you can do is that you can just start to add the shape as it is. I mean, just start to look at how you want to add what the shape of the lamp, fog lamp area is going to be. You can say, well, I want this to be bold. I want it to be noticeable. you can. And then you'll start to add in little details like the actual light.
of course all this can be shaded in and hatch all this area in So, <clears throat> then from here you can have some sort of relief. So what's happening in this section is you've got this, this is going down, this is going back up. And then you got this. <coughs> so that's basically what you have. You have sort of describing what's happening in this particular area. Okay. So, um, I'm going to stop it right here so that you can just look at this example and, and just understand that this is all we're trying to do right now. We're just trying to understand <coughs> some of these details. Yeah, what are you doing? How do you how do you deal with these kind of details? Uh, the sort of transitions that you're doing here. So this is doing this. So, if I wanted to clean this up, Once again, I'm just showing yeah, what this relationship would look like. You're just concentrating on just that particular area. <coughs> We're just talking about section-wise, right? <coughs> you have a section that's coming down through here. So that's uh, that's basically what you're wanting to do when you're starting to experiment is is to really understand how do these transitions work and how you're supposed to deal with those transitions um, and and sometimes when you work on it you'll find that you know what that's not going to look right and then you gotta think of something else. <coughs> So in any case, I hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial. We'll see you next time on DrivenMavens.com. Have a good one.